Ah, hello. I'd like to welcome you all back to a story by my uncle, where today we're picking a brand new color to go with. How about we go with a nice, fresh green? That looks green? No, that looks more yellow, but this should be green, then. As I entered the chasms, Close enough. it struck me how much darker it was in there. The shadows were black as ink. And it's too bright to really see if it's green or not. I, be afraid. I couldn't help but shiver. Was it the darkness that frightened the villagers as well? Or was it something else? Let's move on. Soon we're going to be at the part where I talked about, like, that, um, Maddie's book. The heck? Tell me something else you did with Fred. Well, early one summer morning, Fred took me down to the lake to watch the mayflies. Everything was still and quiet. The larvae floated on the lake's surface and slowly transformed into beautiful mayflies. Fred told me that they had been living on the bottom of that lake for a whole year and that they would only live as adults for one single day. That's sad. What if the only day you were out of the water was a rainy day? That would be sad indeed. Would you even know what the fuck a non-rainy day is? Would you even care about what a non-rainy day is? If I had one day as an adult, I'd be like, shit. Aha! A word. So let's try to translate it. A. N. G. Um. Also, I missed one. This is anger. And the, uh, there's one in Sanctuary which is called Denial. Are we starting to see a pattern? Why the fuck would you write anger and denial and not immediately go to the f five stages of grief? Also, is there that really it? Just like, here's some texts about a guy who's angry. Sorry about back there. I just get so frustrated. They cling so desperately to what they know. Won't ever do anything new. It feels better when Fred is around. But... I told Madeline I didn't mind. And I asked her what she was doing with the book. Oh, this? These writings? It's like a secret language. They are done by people who left the village long ago. They're called the strays. But no one wants to talk about I started translating their language with help from a stray book that Fred found. This one says, Don't move when the eye is open, I think. I wonder Close what enough. it means. Whatever. We should get going. Why don't you take me on your back? Leapfrog. I used to piggyback on Fred all the time. Turn around and I'll hop up. <laughs> You're not going to drop me, right? Okay, let's go. Madeline climbed up on my back, and with the suit on, I could barely feel the extra weight. Will she, like, provide translations? Nope. She's just there for cutscenes' sake. Um, yeah, the one about denial in the Sanctuary, I missed, and I have no idea where it is, even during my multiple playthroughs of it, so, um, I guess I didn't look too hard, I was mostly trying to do some time trials and achievements, but... The winding, narrow tunnels felt like they were closing in on me. They were oddly long and twisting, almost like 
Someone or something had dug them out. With Maddie on my back, I had to be careful not to bump her head on the ceiling. Oh, oh, there was a sh there was a ledge there. Ah, oh, god damn it! I hate it when you bum into stuff and lose your momentum in the game. It's like, ah, you lost your momentum. You're a fucking idiot. ordinary people living in the village long ago. They disagreed with the old traditions and left to form their own village, or they were thrown out for misbehaving. The stories differ a bit. But the stories all agree. There's no shame in being fame. Yes. Whew! Seemingly bottomless pits loomed below us, everywhere in the cave. The further we got, the more I felt like what faint light existed down there was getting fainter. I was really glad that I wasn't alone. This one I don't like. Because it's not apparent that you're supposed to jump this, other than that there's no fret marks. Beware of these hilariously good deals. Look at these deals. They'll make you feel like a starving Marvin. Man, this place is pretty cool. I like the lighting, though I think it's a little harsh with the orange and blue contrasts. There are other contrasts in the fucking world. Was that? I had never heard a creature sounding as terrifying, and I imagined it wouldn't be happy about the visitors. Gah! At least I always have this nifty wrist communication device. Except it's not a communication device. Fred, didn't you? Yeah, I sure did. I used to go to my uncle's house every single day after school to check if he was home. I loved it when he was. I got to help him with his inventions, and he told me stories of his adventures. Like you and me, Dad. Oh, yes. My mother didn't like it, though. She didn't want me to be there at all. Called it too dangerous. I didn't understand why then. It made me upset. I just noticed an important thing that I forgot to turn back on. Fred and Grandma were brother and sister. Why did they fight? They weren't fighting, really. They were just different from each other. Oh wow, he's an employing Cullen. I longed for the Sweet time deal. when I would be old enough to follow along on one of Uncle Fred's expeditions. But my mother never let me go willingly. Fred assured her that it would be alright. She never seemed to stop worrying. 
That was a nice mushroom. I don't know. It's a bunch of weird non... Wow! Couldn't build a freaking collision box for butcher lamps? That's rude. Got some nice flora over here, though. Although I think I'm going to fly that... What was his name? Mr. T something tongue. This rule of... What do they eat? Like garbage, sure, but... Without Fred, what the fuck do they eat? Fred isn't here to give him garbage. This large creature clearly requires sustenance. And these plants sure as hell don't look like they're enough to feed something for an extended period of time. What do they eat? Not something you really. Glowing plant over there. I bet something will happen if you use your grapple on it. Told you so. Bitch, please. Like for realsies. This game would have benefited from the existence of a flashlight. It is really dark down there. You're not scared, are you? I'm dizzy. This part I like, because it's... Like, I've already made my opinion regarding cool lighting clear. But I really like this, because it's like, ooh, look at this creepy-ass lighting. Although... There's also the important question, how the fuck does this kind of geometry exist? And the answer to that is a straight, whoops, can't tell ya. <laughs> How the fuck do you read and write as well? That's how I could learn to read the writing on the wall. Listen, if you guys are just frog eggs, how did you become capable to speak, read, and think? How did you become sentient? Has Fred been working on a secret species of frog people for all this time? You should have told someone about that. That sounds like an ethical dilemma that needs to be resolved before you start working on it. Well, you, you didn't sound very panicked. You should be something like, ah! Whoa, dude. I think I figured out what I that riding was going on about. Maybe we shouldn't charge right out in front of that thing. Remember what it said. Don't move when the eye is open. I like how Fred's markations are A, bigger, and B, much more uh, rudimentary looking. Implying that whatever Fred was using as a grappling device was a much more... <gasps> It's a much earlier version. Wow, he just burps? That's a super weapon? Is he just burps on people? Well, fine, we'll take it nice and slow then. Although, he did just go to sleep. Yeah. 
Wow, he has that third eyelid. That's sweet. Where does it want me to go? Oh man, I'm spazzing out! Who is this guy? Who does he think he is? Who are you? What do you do here? Why do you blow away perfectly good food? Pick my nose. Where are we? Oh, another one. This one says, Welcome home. Welcome to Starhaven. This is a long chapter. Just like ice caves. That one says, Whoa. S T A R. This is where the strikes are. Haven. Yep, Starhaven. And what a beautiful place they chose. Just look at the sky. It is so big. It was a relief to finally feel the sun in my face and a gentle breeze in my hair. After all these caves, just breathing fresh air again was enough to clear my mind of any doubts I might have had about this strange journey so far. There's a part coming up called Maddie's Challenge that I'm gonna do, which is called uh, that way because, oh man, I forget, this place is a, like, we're gonna meet up with people eventually, but for now, for some reason it lays on really thick that this place is to some extent abandoned because of weird floating crap everywhere, but trust me, there's dudes, in fact a dude is gonna help us out with, you know, stuff. I would pick a nice orange color, because this place is very orange. Hopefully I can find orange better than I can find green, because I... this... This is clearly green, but it sort of blends together at a certain point. Let's find a nice orange color. They're probably over here. Now that's a nice deep orange. It's a way too bright to tell the difference, though. Like, it's... If, if your brightness is too high, colors start to fade out a bit. And, like, the purple was nice and deep, but here it's like, ugh. <laughs> Let me control the hue and saturation, brr Also, here's an interesting device. This should not work, since nothing changes. Why would it be able to change? How would this work? How? Wouldn't it, like... Yeah. Yeah, it's... It, it, even the, the gear, gears aren't properly aligned. Like, they're... Duh! Next time, going through Starhaven. We're gonna transport ourselves by grapple. 